All right, so I have my square piece right here and I'm working on the square D2 in the portrait. And it's written on here. It's also written on the back. So if you forget which one you're doing, that's what you're doing. All right, so now that I have my square, I'm looking at D2 here. Um, you can look at your square, like the one you have in person. You can also uh, pull up the your square on the Chromebook and like zoom in so that you can see it even better. But I already have some of the lines and pencil parts of the face drawn. So first I'm just looking to make sense. Like, okay, so this line is for the bottom of the eye. This is for the eyelid. This line is for the eyeball. All right, and this comes around. That's the top eyelid. This right here looks like it was part of the ear. So you're just gonna try to kind of make sense of the lines that you have there and draw them out. So it looks like this is actually like the shadow right here. Cause I see that where it ends right here is at the bottom. So this will be the shadow. This will be that light spot. And then this right here is the shadow right here. And this right here is his eyebrow. Okay. So now that I've made sense, kind of in my head of like, I know which parts are for which, I'm gonna use my Sharpie and start outlining. Um, I'm gonna start with his eye. So I see that this one right here, it comes around here. And it goes over. Now for the outlining part, you're just doing lines. You don't need to add any shading or anything yet. We're just gonna start off by getting those lines drawn. So there those are. This is the under the eye right there. Here's the bottom of his eye here. Connect that there. I'll go over here and outline the, that's that triangle where the ear is. And then I'll do the line coming down. And then the side of the headband would be like right here. There's that triangle. So right here is that shadow. And it's gonna go up a curve like that. And then his eyebrow, it looks like kind of connects right here and then to here okay so now that I have those parts drawn with the sharpie I do need to draw well I think for that square I'm making sure I'm only focused on that square pretty sure that'll be good for now all right, so now I'm gonna um, fill it in and it really is gonna help if you um, zoom, pull up your, your picture and zoom in. So I'm gonna do that right now. And this is Basquiat. Okay, so I have it bigger on my screen. Um, anywhere that, now that they're like this, if anywhere, we're gonna be using Zentangles and lines to fill in all the spaces. So wherever it's dark, you're going to do, uh, you're gonna pick a pattern. In the dark patterns, like I'm doing in this eye, a bunch of circles. I'm gonna do little things together and that's gonna give it Make it look nice and dark. 
All right, under his eye right here. Let's see, I might do some stripes because it's kind of like a medium and then it gets light. Sometimes it helps. So let's see, what kind of stripe pattern can I do? Maybe like something like this. The further apart your lines are, the lighter it's gonna be. Then above the eye, do you need to draw? I'm gonna draw this shape to separate it. And this part's really pretty dark right here. So let me pick a pattern. Lots of lines. I'm just gonna keep going right here to make that line. Now this part, which is in between the eyelid and here is lighter than this line and this line. I'm gonna add some scallop lines to this to make it a little darker. Then in this spot, I'm gonna pick a different pattern. So maybe in this one, I'll just do a bunch of like dash type lines. So you can look at, um, pull up the Zentangle patterns from the One Point Perspective project to see examples of those. Now right here in the corner is pretty dark still, so I'll add just any kind of line pattern. We can even color it if it's really solid, just make your lines a little thicker, make them have more weight. So this bottom line under his eye is pretty dark, so I'll make this line have more weight. So it's just gonna take a lot of, I don't know, working with, looking at the different values and filling in these spaces with the different values. Um, but as long as you're working with the lines that were on there, then you, you really can't go wrong. All right, so this triangle is right there. That's really dark, so I need to think of, uh, maybe I'll do, zebra stripe P thing with lots of ink and not a lot of space in between them. And then this shape right here. is actually this right here. Mm -hmm. What do I want to fill this with? What about... Stripes. And then I'll probably color in like every other one. Make sure whatever pattern you're doing, you're making it look good. Not just drawing random lines, because this is a work of art for, <clears throat> like we're all, it's not just yours, it's for everybody. So everyone's contributing to this, to this portrait. All right, I'm gonna keep working on mine, but hopefully I gave you some ideas um, what you can do with yours.